Hey, good morning. It is Wednesday, and today I want to talk to you about the scale. The scale can either be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy. The scale is that one thing that determines whether or not you're going to have a good day or a bad day. Are you that person that gets on the scale each and every morning? That is the worst thing that you can possibly do. What I tell my challengers is try to only get on the scale once a week and make it the same time every week. So for me, it's every Friday morning, right after I work out and before I get a shower. And so it's the same time every week and it gets in a routine of getting somewhat of an accurate read. Although the scale isn't that accurate, right? So getting on the scale every single day is the worst thing you can do. Number one, so many things change from day to day. Maybe you had a couple of foods that were a little high in sodium and so that can affect the number on the scale or your hormones can affect the scale. And also that time of the month, if you're a girl, you know, our bodies fluctuate depending on the time of the month and where we are. And so the scale can really make a difference. So I'm encouraging you to try to limit your scale to once a week. And what you can do to measure your progress is to um, take your measurements and take pictures. So if you're starting a new program or you're starting a new workout routine, take pictures of yourself and take your measurements. So measure around your chest and your waist and your hips and your thighs and your arms and write those inches down. And then every 30 days, take another set of measurements and compare because a lot of times the scale doesn't change as much but your inches change drastically you lose inches or your pictures when you compare your day one to your day 30 a lot of times that changes and you don't even realize it because you're looking at yourself every single day so taking your pictures taking your measurements and then using the scale as your third line of defense are is a really great way to track your progress and don't get hung up on that number. You know, weight loss should occur at two to three pounds a week. That's average. And throughout the month, sometimes it might be more and sometimes it might be less. You know, especially when you're first starting a workout program, that first week, you may notice that you gain a little bit of weight. And that can be due to the fact that you're working muscles you haven't worked before. They're swollen. You're sore, which can affect, again, that number on the scale because it's so sensitive. So... Do not let that scale define you. You are worth so much more than the number on the scale. Look at yourself and say, I feel good. I have energy. You know what? I'm making exercise a part of my daily routine, so it's making me healthy. It's making my cardiovascular strength stronger, right? And you're reshaping your body by lifting weights, by adding lean muscle. You are changing the look and feel of your body. So, Again, I encourage you to not let that scale be that defining factor. Remember, you are worth more than a number on the scale. Look at the way your clothes fit, the way you feel, and use that as a gauge. And eventually, you will get to the point where that scale doesn't matter at all, and you'll never get on it. And you'll know by the foods that you eat, by how much exercise you're getting, whether or not you are on track. So good luck, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, and I can help you set up some realistic health and fitness goals and teach you a little bit more about um, self-motivation and the power of changing your thinking into more positive thoughts. Have a great day.